Some people try to pretend like last year didn't even exist. They try to just erase it from their memory. I don't like people like that. You gotta hold on to your accomplishments. Whatever you was able to accomplish last year, hold on to it. It matters, you know? Like I found out about wine during the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know about wine. They don't tell black men about wine. No one tells us. White women, you know about wine. Yeah, they know. I found out from my doctor. Like, did, did you guys know this? Did you guys know that drinking one glass of wine with dinner every night could actually help you feel like you're better than everybody else? I was like, why isn't Fauci talking about this? America needs to know red wine appears beautifully with a pandemic. I turned 30 during the whole thing. I don't know if it was turning 30 or if it was the pandemic, but I turned into a middle-aged white woman during the lockdown. <laughs> Straight up. My boys called me during the lockdown, like, yo, you watching the game tonight? I'm like, the game? Nigga, Meghan Markle is on Oprah. <laughs> Snitching on the whole family. You still worried about LeBron? Nigga, you need to grow up. <laughs> the game. That's what I do now. I drink red wine and mind other people's business. <laughs> in private, like an adult. That's my favorite drink, red wine. I love red wine. Cause you only need one glass to get to where you need to be. I see people out partying and taking shots. I'm like, just order a glass of wine. I don't know how rappers aren't rapping about red wine. I don't, cause rappers, they sell alcohol, but it's always the hard stuff. It's always like vodka or tequila. But if you listen to their lyrics, rappers get very emotional. I'm like, this don't sound like tequila. Every rap song is always the same thing. It's always, I'm better than you. I'm tougher than you. I got more money than you. I'm like, nigga, you been drinking Malbec. Cause that is exactly how I feel when I'm scrolling through Instagram in my boxers on a Friday night, so I know what you mean, Gucci man, I get it. I got involved in the stock market last year. That was a big deal for me. I'm a stockholder. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if you guys are doing as well as I'm doing, but if you save up like $37, you could buy stock in a company. I bought three because I had a really good fourth quarter last year. But you don't gotta start at the top. You could just work your way up to where I'm at. And I see some young people in here. I don't know how much y'all know about finance, but I'll teach you guys this. When you buy stock in a company, you actually become part owner of that company. So I'm not trying to sound like I'm better than anybody else here, but I'm not just a comedian. I'm also part owner of Delta Airlines. Thank you. Look, that's fine. I appreciate it. Listen, y'all don't gotta clap. It's cool. I'm not one of those arrogant CEOs. I don't need that type of acknowledgement from anybody. To be honest, I don't even like to talk about it. I swear to God, you wouldn't even know unless you check my resume, LinkedIn, or Tinder. That's the only place I talk about it. I told you guys the truth. I don't even think Delta told the employees yet. I don't think the employees know who I am. I'm serious, I was flying back home from Chicago and I got my boarding pass and I was sitting in zone three. I was like, zone three? This is weird. But I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. I guess it's just gonna be like an undercover boss type of situation. I'm gonna get to see how my employees work, you know? I didn't make a big deal. I didn't try to fire anyone or anything like that. But I did try to board the flight early. When I got to the gate, the gate agent stopped me. Could you believe she stopped me? She didn't know. She didn't know who I was. She was like, sir, we did not call your zone yet. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, uh, miss, you must not read your emails. But I own $111 worth of this company. So I'll get on whenever the hell I want, Bridget. 
I'm thinking about selling, to be honest, if anybody still has their refund check. We can talk after the show. Work out a good price. 